Today I'm going to show you how to turn 25 grand into a million dollars. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise. You are watching Holton Wise TV, and I'm going to show investors like you how to make money in real estate. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, right? Today, I'm working with my man Nicholas and his mom Valerie, right? California investors, and I'm out here in Ohio, and that's okay. It doesn't matter where you live. What I show you guys will work no matter where you live. Sometimes it'll work in your home market. Sometimes it won't. For Valerie and Nicholas, this won't work where they live, but it works where I live. And guess what? I just so happen to run the largest scattered site property management company in my market, and I've been working with investors like them for years. As a matter of fact, I've sold over $200 million worth of investment property. Investment property that's going to allow you to do what Valerie and Nicholas are going to be able to do, and that is turn $25,000 into a million dollars and it starts with one deal one deal that we're going to get into the details right after this hey steve what are you doing oh nothing just saving money on my rental property insurance oh my steve take me now holton wise real estate investing made easy Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers, right? I made a pretty big claim. I said I'm going to teach you how to turn $25,000 into a million dollars. How does that work? Am I a guru? Am I giving you a bunch of flip diddy flop diddy floop, a bunch of blah, 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 all that fucking guru smoking mirrors? No, no, no. Real properties, real strategies. Real details happening right now. 2097 West 98th Cleveland, 44102. Priced at 99900 It's been on the market for nine days. You're going to take twenty five grand and you're going to turn this property and that twenty five grand into a million dollars. Is it going to take a week? No. Is it going to take a year? No. Is it going to take 10 years? Fuck no. Is it going to take 20? Nope. <laughs> it's going to take 30 years, okay? You could do this over 30 years. They say real estate is a get-rich-slow game, and that's true, all right? Now, the reason you want to get involved in real estate investing and the reason you can do things like take 25 grand and eventually turn that into a million dollars is because of the financing, right? Real estate is unlike anything else, right? You can't open up a restaurant and get somebody to give you a 30-year loan for 75% of that restaurant at a low uh, fixed interest rate that's tax deductible, tax deductible, right? You just can't do it, but you can do it real estate, right? So you take this property, 99900 and I'll get into the details on the property here shortly, but it's very much worth that price, okay? It's, it's worth 99900 right? You could buy that only needing about twenty five grand down. This deal specifically 24975 right? You do that, we're going to get a lender to give you the other 75%. And then the tenants, of course, are going to pay off your mortgage, right? You're also going to make cash flow, right? Specifically, how much cash flow should you make? Well, the market rent for this property is fifteen seventy five dollars or 18900 But you don't get to keep the 18900 You have fixed and variable expense estimates that uh, if Holton Wise were to manage the property for you or another property manager, or if you're doing this at home, you're managing it yourself, right? You're going to spend, in my opinion, on a property just like this, almost ten grand operating it, right? Leaving you a little bit over nine grand that you'll make over the course of a year. If you buy it at the price they're asking, ninety nine nine. You put down twenty four thousand nine seventy five. The bank kicks in seventy four thousand nine twenty five. So you'll make an average of twenty two percent on your money, right? So that's an additional after paying off your mortgage five thousand four hundred fifty one dollars a month you're making, right? Every single year. That's great, but that doesn't turn you into a millionaire, right? That notwithstanding, not even thinking about the 22% ROI, not even thinking about that, right? Not even thinking about the fact that real estate appreciates, right? You're going to see 
You could Google this, appreciation, uh, you know, rates in markets. Just Google it, right? You'll see real estate appreciates. They ain't making no more land, folks. But not talking about the cash flow. Not talking about the appreciation. Let's just say all things are equal, right? You take 25 Gs, you get a $100,000 property. The tenants pay off your mortgage. In 30 years when that note is done, you've quadrupled your money. Do that 10 times. You could take 250 k and that will now become a million dollars, right? So it starts here with 25000 right? Do that 10 times, folks. You're now a millionaire. You could retire a millionaire, right? If you're watching this show because you hate your boss and you want to be a full-time entrepreneur tomorrow, 30-year notes like this ain't going to get you there, folks. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not a guru, right? This ain't no guru smoking magic. I show you guys real strategies, right? But if you want to turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money for your retirement, this kind of stuff is how you do it. My team can help you get that done, right? You get that done in videos just like this one. So if you want a personalized video to you, you just send my team an email sales at holtonweiss.com give us a call we'll talk to you about what you're working with right because let's not forget the other stuff right the cash flow that it makes the potential appreciation all these things are great but here's the thing it's not just about strategy it's about real world practice my team would be managing this property for you right there's some things we need to talk about before we get into how great this is right as far as the condition of the property i don't fully understand that just yet this is all i've been given from the listing agent right and not every deal that i do this due diligence on is going to turn out to be a winner right this is just step one of the due diligence process i know that a property like this in what i'm going to assume is moderate condition is worth ninety nine thousand nine hundred all day if it's not in moderate condition we're going to find that out at the general home inspection. And then you have me as your broker telling you what we're going to do, right? What we have currently is just this one photo because there's two tenants in there, right? So that rent that I gave you earlier, the 1575, that would be us renting the three bedroom unit for eight and a quarter and renting the two bedroom unit for 750. Currently, right now, the current landlord is getting 750 and 675 so we're very close to that so we wouldn't want to move those tenants out right we'd want to re-sign them to leases and try to slowly work them up if they ever moved out we would refresh the units and get those market rents or maybe we could slowly get them but without knowing the interior condition of this property i'm going to tell you what i know from selling over 200 million dollars worth of real estate just like this there's no scenario where these tenants are going to move out and it looks amazing. There's no scenario where they're not showing us pictures of the inside because it's just so fucking awesome, right? It's not how this works, right? We got long-term tenants in here. When they do move out, it's going to be gross. We're going to probably need to redo the units, right? You might spend anywhere between 5 and 15 k per unit. That's the business. That's why we don't want them to move out, right? We make all that money, all that cash flow I talked about. We make that by keeping people into these units as long as we can, right? Turnovers are not our friend. I'll tell you this. If one landlord's getting 750 and 675 from his tenants for 10 years in a row, and another landlord is getting 825 and 750 from his tenants, but he changes them out every two years, who you think's gonna make more money? I'll tell you right now, it's the landlord that kept the rents lower and kept them tenants in his property or her property for 10 years in a row. That's how you make money, especially in a neighborhood like this, right? When you're investing, especially if you're investing out of state, you need to understand the type of market you're into, right? We got folks all over the place they look at properties like this, and they're like, oh, man, I can't get a $100,000 property uh, that's got you know two apartments, five bedrooms where I live. This must be amazing. You have to understand the level of risk you're taking on, right? This particular property is in what I would consider a D or a C grade level, right? What I mean by that is established in something called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I have that in the show notes below. It's also available on HoltonWeiss.com on the Tools and Resources section, right? I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? This neighborhood, this is not where wealthy people live. This neighborhood is not where you're going to find tenants where it's a husband, wife, and the husband's got a bachelor degree, and the wife's got one as well. Not the kind of tenant base that rents properties like this. We're talking low income, blue collar, a lot of Section 8, a lot of people on SSI. That's what you're getting. If you want to buy a duplex 
400k if you want to start with 25 grand and eventually turn it into a million dollars this is the type of property investing you're dealing with my team very familiar with it we handle the issues but bet your ass there's going to be issues you don't believe me check out the tennis from hell show i link to that all the time that's some of our most popular content that is the real life uh occurrences of landlords who own these low-income properties right so if that's what you're signed up for this property definitely needs us to investigate it a little bit more. We'll get it under contract. We're going to have to pay $99.9, right, in my opinion. Get a home inspection. If it comes back where, you know, the roof is near end of its life, mid to end of life, the furnace is mid to end of life, hot water tank's mid to end of life, and then we'll have to do refreshes when these tenants move out, that's what I'm going to – that's that's what I would expect, right? That's what I'm going to assume is going to happen if it comes back like that. We're good to go. This property is every bit worth 99900 We need to move forward. But if something else comes back, like there's a major structural issue in the basement, structural issue uh, with the roof, uh, water damage coming in from the roof, right? Big things like that, then you got me on your team. Go into that seller, go into that listing agent, trying to beat them up, trying to reduce the price to make those new issues uh, worth it for you as an investor or... We simply cancel the deal and move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.